Ever wanted to visit Singapore? Watch this video for your perfect three day travel guide to this beautiful country in the southeast of Asia. I will start this video by saying that I understand that what I'm showing you in this video may not be possible right now. However, you have two options, either save this video for a future date so you have some travel ideas when you are going to visit Singapore because I know you will one day, or you can just sit back and get excited about future travel and get some travel inspo because I have so much packed into this video today for you guys. If you're new around here, my name is Dane Luca. I post travel related content every single Friday at 2 p.m. So if you're new around here, consider subscribing. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, it really helps support the channel. Today's video is a Singapore travel guide. Now I spent about five days here last year and I packed in so much stuff. So I thought I'm gonna make a travel guide for anyone looking to go to Singapore in the future. I feel that travel is starting to open up internationally around the world, here in England, things are looking positive. We're going in the right direction and that's what we like to see. First things first, you are going to need to look into accommodation. As always, there are two options. You're either the bougie bitch or you are a budget backpacker. Now, I will admit I did a bit of bougie-ness when I went to Singapore. I stayed in both backpacker accommodation and I stayed in a five-star resort. So accommodation is something you're gonna need to consider first. Are you gonna stay in a hostel? Or are you gonna stay in Marina Bay Sands Hotel? I would suggest trying to stay in the Bay Area and that is where Marina Bay Sands is. And there is the shopping centers, so many restaurants and just everything there is to do is around that sort of central Singapore area. I will also say if you're not in the center of Singapore city, that is fine because Singapore is not a big country and the transportation is amazing. The MRT was so easy to use. So first up on the travel guide is Marina Bay Sands Hotel. Please, 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 or whatever you do, just try and stay in this hotel. It is a bit on the pricier side if you are a backpacker, but you can get up to three people in a bedroom. And I think I paid 220 pound for one night. However, it is not just a place to stay. I really just feel like this hotel is a whole experience. Firstly, I love that you can check in at 12 p.m. So like lunchtime, midday, which is unusual. Hotels you can normally book in at like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. So you've already lost half the day and you don't actually have to check out till 11 a.m. the next day. That gives you 23 hours in this amazing resort. I would firstly say this is the most iconic place I've ever stayed. When have you ever seen three towers with a ship on top with the world's largest infinity pool? This is insane. Now this is just my suggested guide. I did lots of activities in Singapore and I'm only recommending the ones that I did and enjoyed and would do again. I would recommend staying one night in Marina Bay Sands. I did find out that if you do not stay at the hotel and you're not a guest, you are unfortunately not allowed to use the pool. I think you can still access the restaurants and everything and the sky deck area, which is at the top and you get this beautiful view over Singapore city. Check into the hotel, spend a day lounging out by the pool, eating at one of their 45 restaurants, go into the gym, go into the spa, get in treatment. Just live your bougie extra life because that is literally what I did. I sat poolside, I was ordering french fries and bougie cocktails and it was probably the bougiest thing I've ever done in my life. I will say this again, I will stay there again, even if I was on my own. I would stay there for more than one night. I think it's such a splurge, but it's like, it's almost like a once in a lifetime thing that you just want to do over and over again because it's just so iconic. Take a late night dip in the pool, which overlooks Singapore city. I honestly feel like it was one of the most breathtaking views I've ever seen. One thing you do have to do is get up early. I believe the pool opens at 6 a.m. So you can get a nice sunrise swim in before having breakfast at one of their many restaurants. I'm currently in the pool. And I think this is the nicest pool. Now, actually, I know this is the nicest pool I've been in. 
Like, it goes all the way down to there. I found that when I did this, there were not that many people around the pool and I practically had it to myself. I was able to take some cool photos and just literally just sit on the poolside and looking over the skyline of Singapore. It was bloody unreal, guys. Now, theme parks. I was quite surprised to find out there was a Universal Studios in Singapore. Take half a day to spend in Universal Studios having fun. It's not the biggest park and that is why I would suggest half a day. It's in the area of Sentosa, which is easily accessible by MRT in Singapore. After spending the half day in Universal Studios, I would definitely recommend checking out the Vivo City shopping center for a bite to eat or just do some shopping if that's what you're into. And then after this, spend an evening eating at one of the restaurants and having some drinks around the Bayside. They do a light show every night. I think it's called Spectra. I unfortunately wasn't able to see this because that's when the pandemic started, so they had canceled it. However, I have heard it is amazing. Now, I found Singapore to be a really beautiful city. There is so much greenery, and if you love architecture, you are gonna be in paradise because there are so many cool skyline and buildings. After you've spent a morning getting lost around Singapore city, head back to the Marina Bay area and check out Team Lab Borderless Presents, which is a must-see art science museum. They have lots of cool art made of light, which I would probably say I spent about an hour inside. One place to eat that blew my mind was Black Tap. I did eat dinner there one night, their burgers were unreal. However, you need to have a milkshake from there because they are crazy good. I had this black and white Oreo vegan milkshake. I couldn't finish it, but I gave it a good try. Then you're gonna wanna spend the rest of the day at the gardens by the Bay Area. This is the other side of the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. And another thing I will mention as well, cause I love like mentioning pricing and stuff, to actually walk around this bit is, is totally free. You have to pay to go up there, up there, and then pay for the other attractions, but it's not that expensive. Get lost in the refreshing cloud forest and treetop walks and finish the evening off by watching the Gardens by the Bay light show. One last thing you of course need to do is visit the Merlion, a famous landmark near One Fullerton, Singapore. There we have it guys, that is a three day travel guide on things that you can do whilst you're in Singapore. I hope you enjoyed it. There is just an abundance of things to do in Singapore. It's so overwhelming and yeah, like I said, can't wait to do so many more things when I head back there one day. These are just things that I would suggest doing over a three day period. The things that I've suggested I have done myself and I can personally say I would recommend them to a friend, I would go and do them again and I'm very excited to go back to Singapore one day. As I said at the beginning of the video, save this video for some future travel inspo when you're planning a trip to Singapore. I'm definitely planning to go back there again one day so if you have any other suggestions that I haven't mentioned in this video, comment them down below and I can check those out. Also if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, it helps the algorithm helps my channel grow and yeah, subscribe if you wanna see future travel videos every Friday at 2 p.m. You can also go follow me on social media, which I will put up here. And yeah, stay safe and peace out and I will see you guys next week.